the COVID is where they get together with their secret meetings to talk about Evangelist Gout, to talk about the bishop, Hondo Shata, to talk about the deacon, talk about the administrators, the people that are divinely ordered to help the church. And they talk about you in secrecy. And then they put it in a home, in a hiding place. But in the name of Jesus, I dispatch the angels, the seeking angels, to go and find that secret place where they have hidden my name. And I ask them now, open your mouth and say, I repossess my name from that secret place. Because Jesus said that I worship the most high God. He is my secret place. Huh? So every secret servant huh? that they have put my name huh? in the name of Jesus, huh? I ask the angels huh? of God to repossess, 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 repossess. I want you to know something that when God is going to bless it's not that God is impartial but not everybody is in the order to be blessed you see for some of you that said that barbecue can wait a double blessing because you know what the Bible said and I'm in the word Isaiah 40 31 they that wait up on the Lord. Shall renew. He sh you hear the word shall? The word shall refers to the future. He shall renew your strength. You shall mount up with wings as eagles. You shall walk. You shall run and not be weary. You shall walk and not faint. Because you waited. You see, there are some spirits happening now in Christendom where Watch this. You have men that are anointed and sitting under leadership and leadership cannot see to release them. But then you have men that are not yet anointed and want leadership to release them. In other words, they're not ready. They think they're ready, but they haven't put in their time. The Bible said that Joshua sat under Moses for 40 something years until God said, Moses, your time is up. And here's Joshua. Here is Joshua waiting for the appointed time. Not the going time, the appointed time. There is an appointed time for release. I had to sit. And I believe I'm anointed. But you have to wait. But watch this now. You have some people in the church when they want to leave a ministry, they say, God didn't release them yet. But they say, well, I think my work here is done. So I gotta go. Meanwhile, they didn't do anything. All they, they didn't even pay their tithes faithfully. That's why the prophet came and said, you're robbing God. But when you do that, when you rob God of your tithes, which is a command, by the way, not an order of the bishop, it's a command. And then watch this, tithing is a command. But you know where you get your blessings? Through your offering, the overflow. Some people have their own mess up, sir. Your tithing is not what blesses you. Your tithing opens the door for your blessings when you give your offering. It's an overflow. Because remember what the man said, Jesus said. You see that little woman? She gave all she had. But you see those over there bragging and boasting about what they gave? It was their abundance. In other words, they could have done without it. In other words, it would have hurt their pockets. It didn't affect their finances. It didn't delay any bills. You have some people, they carry large bills, 
in their pocket. And the large bills are always on the outside, so they're flexing. You see, you see, you see this little guy standing in the red room. You all don't know. I used to promote nightclub. Matter of fact, when I came down Keel, I remember there's a hotel at Keel where, where there was a nightclub there on Sunday evenings. Uh, you understand? In the lower level. And one of my crew, Ebony Sound Crew used to jam there. You know? TKO used to jam there. And all you surprised, how does he know all this? Because I grew up in Toronto. Hallelujah. And this was not always my situation. But when God gets a hold of you, look at your neighbor and say, hey, you get through a Jesus experience. You are better than the nightclub. You are better than the strip club. You are better than the dance hall. And come back for Jesus. They'll come you. God release you to come in the house of death. And they'll let the enemy tie up your feet. You gotta say, I gotta dance. that many that were first would be last and the last shall be the first. Yes. I always say that the turtle and the snail made it into the ark and they weren't concerned about the race. They weren't being concerned about beating you St. Holt. But they made it. So, I want us to come in obedience and the Holy Spirit will do this very quickly. I want you to line up down the center of this Sanctuary, one behind each other. Let's do, and if it means you gotta go around the back and around, just line up. And everybody who is on the Lord's side, including, and then the Holy Spirit said to me, start with your elders. Start with the elders. No, 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 no. Go back. Come on, listen to the voice. Don't worry, you're gonna get yours. Nobody's gonna rob you. The Bible said Jesus prayed for every person. I don't think they're using the four years. Go to the back. Line up in a single file like you're in school. Starting with the elders and the deacons. 